Why hasn't XRP gained the kind of traction um, that so many people thought it would a couple of years ago? What, what's held it back? Well, I think, frankly, it's uh, regulatory clarity. Um, you know, we have a lot of regulatory clarity in, in uh, key parts of the world, in Japan and Singapore, the UK, Switzerland, UAE, uh, have deemed XRP a currency. And, uh, and that's good. We need that clarity. And it's being, you know, being used, uh, utilized in, in, in very effective ways that are helping uh, humans. Um, but in the U.S., 10 years in, we still don't have that regulatory clarity. And that's holding back the U.S. Uh, market for crypto. Uh, that's unfortunate. Has, so Why, why has XRP been singled out, Chris? Why have regulators seemingly singled out XRP and Ripple? Uh, that's a good. That's a good question. Uh, it, it, we, it's perplexing in many ways. Uh, XRP was declared a currency by Obama's Treasury in 2015. It's been out there in, in the wild now for almost nine years. Uh, ten, hundreds of billions of dollars have traded, so it has utility. Uh, so we think that that was a perplexing uh, move that happened literally on the last days of the Trump administration under uh, in the SEC, for example. Uh, but we're hopeful that we can get that clarity in the U.S., and then that will uh, allow the U.S. To, to be rightfully the number one uh, when it comes to fintech, crypto, just like it is with uh, every other uh, part of the Internet. As you alluded to, you, you are dealing with the, this SEC suit. Uh, as I understand it, Chris, and correct me if I'm getting this wrong, it's over issues you've already settled with the Department of Justice. That causes some confusion for me, probably others about where the regulator is on these issues. Where do you get the clarity on how this space will be regulated? Are we there yet? Because I know this is a lot of kind of backdated issues. Yeah, unfortunately, we're not there in the, in the U.S. yet. And this is not just a, a ripple issue. This is an issue across fintech and uh, crypto uh, in general, if the U.S. wants to be number one. Uh, the problem in the U.S., again, it's, it's not really a problem, but it's a complexity. We have eight federal uh, financial regulators and we found, uh, you know, really tremendous kind of insight by most of them. Uh, the Federal Reserve has been fantastic. Uh, FinCEN within Treasury, I think, has been super uh, innovative and forward thinking on this as an example. Uh, but we haven't quite got there yet with the, uh, the securities regulators. Um, I think we will get there as an industry, uh, but that's going to be essential if the U.S. Um, is going to stay on top. Because, frankly, it's too easy now for innovators to move to places like Singapore, which is so great to work for with the, the regulators there, or the UK, for example, fantastic uh, relationship with regulators that innovators have. So we got to get our act together. Otherwise, we're going to lose this race uh, specifically to China, which is racing ahead uh, are, are, in ways that we have not. Are you optimistic, uh, Chris, about Gary Gensler coming in? Uh, look, uh, Commissioner Gensler is uh, very knowledgeable about the space, taught a course at MIT. Uh, and again, I think uh, part of uh, uh, this administration is going to be a lot more climate focused. Uh, so kind of focusing on green crypto, if yeah. you will. Uh, so we're uh, you know, hopeful, but we'll have to see.